What's up everyone, welcome to another finger picking lesson, Marco here today. I want to talk to you about chords and I want you to come a little closer because I need to, you know, just want to have a conversation with you guys. We're going to talk about chords and I want to show you how we can transform very simple chords into something beautiful. Now, obviously, we are going to use different versions, we are going to add extensions to those chords, but this is just the way to go. And so we can create beautiful sounding chords. We are also going to benefit from playing open strings and add open strings to these chords, okay? So we're gonna take it step by step. I'm gonna show you a few different chords, okay? Now you can have the tab for everything I play in this video, check my Patreon page, and also subscribe to this channel if you wanna keep up with all the upcoming lessons. Now let's have a close up guys and let's get started. All right guys, let's get started now. We're gonna play a different type of chords, okay? We're gonna start with an A major idea and it's going to sound like this. Okay, a lot of different voicings, a lot of different chords, okay? But it's basically all A major, okay? Now the first chord is very simple. It's an A add nine chord, and it's just like an A major chord, but with the B string open. Okay, so I play A string, D string fret two, G string fret two, and the B string open. So the ninth, the note B, will give a beautiful open sound to this chord, okay? And I like to keep the voicing on the B, so I don't play the E string. Now the second um, voicing that I'm using is this one a beautiful A major seven chord. And the way I'm playing this chord is like this. I have the A open string, the D string for number seven, the G string for number six, and the B string for number nine, okay? And the E open string. Now, the beauty of this chord is the fact that I am playing, obviously, the root note on the A and the D string, and the major third on the G string, okay? The, the C sharp. I also have the, the uh, B string for number nine, which is the major seven, which is a beautiful sound, okay? And then the E string, which is the fifth. Now, I like to start playing this chord with uh, root note and major seven, so I will pluck A string and B string simultaneously before I keep plucking the chord. Now, the third shape is this one. That's another beautiful sounding chord. And I'm playing it like this. I have the A string, the G string fret number nine, the B string fret number 12, and the E string fret number nine. Now this is an A add nine again. It's a beautiful sounding chord, guys. It's a little bit stretchy though. And there are two different ways. I usually play like this because I don't have any uh, trouble with the stretch here between you know, uh, the fingers. But if you struggle with the stretch, just put down a bar chord. And that's it, okay? And here I like to pluck the chord like this. I have the uh, A string and B string simultaneously. So I pluck the root note and the ninth simultaneously. And then the third string, the E string, and then the E string, okay? So I kind of play also the um, this beautiful E open string, okay? So, and then I keep going up. Now this is a very, you know, a very like musical sounding chord. And I have three notes, okay? So I am playing the A string open, the G string and B string fret number 14, and then the E string fret number, what is that, 16, okay? So I'm playing an A major nine, A major seven, sorry, A major seven chord. So, beautiful sounding chord, and then I will play the E string fret number 14, and then uh, the A string open, the G string fret number 14, and the E string fret number 12. So I'm basically playing a beautiful voicing. All right, so the whole thing, first A, then A major seven, and A at nine, Now, let's move on to the second chord, which is a C um, chord idea. All right, guys, now the second chord is going to be a beautiful C, and I really wanna focus a lot on playing 
uh, A, C, W, D major six. Okay, which I found to be a beautiful sounding chord. It's not really used that a lot, but it's a beautiful sounding chord. So we're gonna play a lot with this six, okay, which when we play a C major chord is the note A, okay? Now the first chord we are playing is this one. And then this one. Beautiful sounding and... All right. So I really like to play with the major six, especially with the major chords. Now the first chord I'm playing is this one. And I'm playing the A string for three, okay, uh, which is the note C, the G string, uh, the B string for three, which is the ninth, and the E string for number five, which is the major sixth. So I pluck this chord, and then I play the E open, just to change the voicing. And then I will play the second chord. Now that's a beautiful, kind of classical, classical chord, reminds me of classical guitar. And I'm playing the E string fret number eight, which is the root note, okay? And then the G string fret number five, which is another root note. The B string open, the major seven, and the E string, which is the third, okay? And then I will add this beautiful D string fret seven, which is the note A, so I'm adding the major six. And then I can play the G open string to change the voicing. Beautiful sounding chord, okay? And then I'm playing... Now this is another uh, major 7 chord, okay? D string, sorry, a major chord, very basic triad. Uh, D string fret number 10, C, and the G string fret 12. Note G and the E string fret number uh, 12, okay, which is E, the third. And this is just like a C major chord, so. But then I will add the major six, B string fret number 10, and the E string open. Okay, and I finish with this beautiful sounding chord. Now, what is this chord? Six string fret number eight, which is the note C. And then I have the um, G string, fret number seven, which is the note D, the major nine. And then the B string, fret number eight, the note G. And then another D on the E string, fret number 10. Beautiful sounding chord. C, add nine chord, okay? So. I really love this um, this type of sounds, okay? So make sure to experiment a lot with these beautiful chords, okay? Now, let's check the next one. Now guys, next chord is a minor chord and I really wanna play around with the 11th and also the minor chord with the major six. Beautiful sounding chord. And Beautiful different voicing, okay? Now, the first shape is this one. Okay, then we can play with three different voicings here. Now, I'm playing an A at 11 chord, or A11 chord, A minor 11, um, and uh, I have the A string, and then the G string fret number five, which is the note C, the minor third, and then the B string fret number three, which is the D, the 11, and and then the E string fret number seven, which is the note B, the major nine. Okay, so. And I can really play with the, I can really play with the voicing and play the fret number seven, fret number five, and the E open. Okay, so three different voicing within the same position. And then if I change the, um, the B string and the E string, and I kind of go the other way around, I have this beautiful A minor, A minor chord with the major six. So I will be playing the the G string fret number five, the B string now is fret number seven, and the E string is fret number three. So I am playing the root note, the, the minor third, the major six, and the uh, minor seven. 
Okay, beautiful sounding chord, really open chord. And I can change the voicing here between 3rd fret and 5th fret, so... Very beautiful way to play the A minor chord. And then I can change here, can change voicing. Now this is an A minor add 9 chord, and it's playing like this. You have the A string open, the G string fret number 9, which is the note E, the B string fret number 12, which is the note B. Okay, and that's the major 9. And then the minor 3rd on the E string, fret number 8. Now, this voicing is really stretchy, but it sounds beautiful. So I can add also the E string, fret number 10. Okay, and then I will, I would like to finish with the major chord. So, just a quick recap, the A minor, we have the add 11 chord, the minor 7 with the major 6, and the A minor add 9 chord, and then with the different voicing with the major 9. And then, beautiful F major uh, 7 add 9 chord, which is we're gonna use it just like this, just without changing too many things. So the A string fret eight, uh, the D string fret number seven, the G string fret number nine, and the B string fret number eight. And then we go all the way down to the fret number three. C major seven add nine is the same shape. And then we finish with this beautiful G uh, add nine. Chord, okay, and here I'm playing it's a really stretchy chord, and I'm playing the uh, E string fret number six, the G string fret number two, the uh, B string fret number three, and the E string fret number five. Beautiful sounding chord. Now, guys, I hope you can use those chords and really learn new things and implement this chord in what you already play. Some of them are tricky, some of them are beautiful and easy to use. So really take it step by step. I'm gonna see you on the next video.